Hello procrastinators and welcome to Antichamber. This is a uh I want to I want a word that's better than fantastic. Magna Florius, that's the word I tend to go back to. It, it, this is a Magna Florius game. It is just Oh, it's if you like puzzle games and first person puzzle games and and to be perfectly honest just good games, go Go and buy this game now. Don't watch this video. The less you know about this game, the better. Seriously, if, if, if me recommending a game is enough for you, don't watch this video. It's going to just be the first 10-15 minutes. I'm not going to edit. There's going to be no real... I, d I don't want to show a lot of this game off, because the less you know about this game, the better this game is. Go in as blind as possible. That is that is what you should do. That is my recommendation. I recommend you don't watch this video. If you need sort of uh, to know what the game about is a little, I will do that. I will show as little of the game as possible and tell you what that is about. This isn't a video I'm going to show you the entire game. That's that's not what's going to happen here. This is a video where I'm just essentially going to go, go and play this game. It's so damn good. Right. Okay, if you, if you wish to go, go now because I'm going to start getting into the game. I seriously recommend it. Go, it's on Steam. It's a couple of quid. <sighs> right. Let's get started. You get to choose your destination by clicking there. Right, now we are in the game. This is Antichamber. Uh, up or DN. Uh, probably up. There is some some stuff. Uh, it says jump, so we shall. We. It's a long way down. Yes. I'm still alive. And apparently I landed in some water. Oh, there's a porthole. It's foggy out. Uh, this is these little things you can see on the wall here. You give them a click. And it'll say something. Failing to succeed doesn't mean failing to progress. Basically, this is telling you how to play the game in slightly cryptic way. The tutorials for the game is you playing the game. This is one of the best tutorials I've ever played because the way it teaches you the mechanics is to get you to play with the mechanics. It doesn't say, oh, now stand here, do these things. It just goes, oh, just do whatever. Just wander around, do what you feel like. Uh, I'm now going to follow this path and see what happens. Oh, if you're worried about... A lot of people have asked about the uh, game length of this game. Uh, it takes about... Uh, I know, I'm getting there, arrows. It takes about... Um, uh, five to ten hours. Some paths are clearer than others. About five to ten hours for your first completion. I actually completed it in three hours the first time because I rushed through it. Uh, my second playthrough was about nine hours. That was 100%ing it. And now I'm doing speed runs on it so I can get this game finished in about six and a half, six minutes. Uh, not even kidding. Um, so there's, there is a lot of game to explore and if you want to do it as quick as possible, you can do it as quick as possible. It's a game... If you want to take a... If you want to just wait and take this time, take your time with it. It's It's... It's a very slow game if you want it to be. Right, we have a choice here. We have blue and up, or red and down. See, when I was playing this, I was deconstructing this in my head as a, which is the best choice to pick here? Because blue is generally more positive color. That's generally like happier, positive things. And up is more of a direction you want to go in games. Like on platforms, you want to go more to the right than the left. Blue is a more positive direction. And that was like sort of red and bad. So I can see most people picking this. So that's why I went for this one. I was trying to be a smart ass. The game was smarter than I was. Go around this corner. Huh, back here. And this says, a choice may be as simple as going left or going right. Well, let's try and go down again. Let's try and let's, let's do down again. Maybe, maybe that's what it wants me to do. I can be super clever. Super genius, super clever. No, okay, so the game wants me to go left and right. Because that thing was saying a choice simple as going left or right. So we go around here. And we're back here again. But now there's a second thing to read. The choice doesn't matter if the outcome is the same. Let's go left. So basically, yeah. So if we go left, we'll go back to that one where there's only one sign on the wall. It's what you'd think. This game features um, a lot of messing with dimensions. You can jump between paths in really bizarre, weird ways. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, like I said, it's better experience because then you... you um, just go and play this goddamn game. Uh, so basically, you'll keep going around this. The, the, the answer to this puzzle is to go backwards. Spoiler warning. And that was pretty much given away here. It says the, the outcome is the same. So you go, oh, let's not do those outcomes. Go down there. Hey, where did that staircase go? Hmm. When you return to where you have been, things aren't always as remembered. So this is green. This is red. Hey, that corridor leads to where we just were. Or does it? Ah. 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 So yeah, as you can see, uh, the game just basically folds around itself quite a lot. In fact, it's very much like, I, I imagined it as if a TARDIS had exploded. This is sort of the aftermath of a TARDIS explosion. So we click, opens that up. If you don't know what the TARDIS is, then go go watch Doctor Who. And let's close that. And that one open that up. Ah. So now we read this one. Uh, some choices leave us running around a lot without really getting anywhere. Well, let's go back. Okay, so the game wants us to hit escape. 
hit escape and you return back here. There is no failure, you just go straight back to here anytime you hit escape. So if we were if we went back to the start bit again and hit escape, that now says walk instead of jump. Uh, we can, as you can see, this is all the things that we found so far and we're just back here. Oh, and the, the options menu is this. There is no menus, this is the menu. You just click the things you want to change. Right, now this says walk. So if we walk along here, a ground forms and we can walk across it. Instantly, that was there at the start. If you jump, it disappears. So when you jump for it, it wouldn't be there. If you just walked across it straight away, you could walk across it straight away. This is a game you can seriously, seriously mess with, and it will mess with you. Uh, taking the first step can be harder than the rest of the challenge. Okay, that's a dead end, and that's a sign. So, which way would you go? Now, you'd probably go that way, wouldn't you? So let's go this way. Do 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 way. Down from stairs. Uh, yeah, see, I, as I've played this game, I know this freaking place like the back of my hand. So it's quite hard to show off without spoiling. Uh, you can't get over there, you can just leap over there. Whoop. We often fall into things when we least expect. You see, and it's also telling a story of this guy as well. Um, let's just escape to go back here. You can see it's telling a story of this guy as he goes along from birth to spoilers. Uh, which you can probably guess. Oh, and you can also jump back to any point you've been. So if we jump here, this is the point that's just... Ah! Yeah, on this bit. Remember this bit that I just fell down? Let's go back there. I'll show you that again without falling down it. Uh, wait, it was this way. No, it wasn't this way, it was this one. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it was this. There's a hole here, that way. Okay, so we were going down that corridor. So this dead end over here, which you probably think would be a dead end. This, is a, this isn't a game where a dead end is a dead end. See this, merges out of our way. This wall doesn't actually exist. You've got to just mess with this game. You've seriously got to mess with it. Um, a dead end will only stop you if you don't try to move through it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Doesn't work for all dead ends, only works sometimes, but it just, this game just teaches you as it goes along. It's beautiful. Uh, we can go down there, as you saw there was a way down there, so let's go down this way. See, this drops us off down here. Oh, there's a sign. Uh, dig a little deeper and you may find something new, which we have. This one says WTF, and this one says, hmm, let's go down, hmm, wee, boop. Uh, what are we saying here? I, 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 I... Ah, that clock. I can leave the clock. What appears impossible may have a very simple answer. And uh, how we perceive a problem can change every time we see it. This is the developer showing off room. You can see here, every time this ticks past, this changes. To spell out life. Uh, this is a room where the developer is just going, Look how brilliant I am at making levels. I love this sort of thing. It's just, just levels not existing where they should and... Ugh. I thought it was the QI logo for a second. Yeah, and then uh, just a giant space waffle building itself. Lots of weird interesting things. I won't show you all of them to spoil them. I especially won't show you that if you back into this one, you go into a different room that shows you other weird things. I won't show you that. There's, um... Also, hello, Mr. Pink Cube! Yes. Uh, all these things, you will explore and find out what they do. Hmm, that door closed. There's an eye. Hmm, that door closed. I wonder what happens if we do this. Huh. Now that's there. But you can back through the door. If you face away from that door, it opens up. That's what the game is teaching you there. Well, if that's locked off, I've never seen that lock up before. Interesting. Rawr. A few steps backwards may keep you moving forwards. Ah, this is one of my favourite things about this game. As you can see, this is a weird little lattice structure. There's a blue room. And there's a green room through there. Should we peek inside the blue room? So you can see inside this blue room, there's sort of a pathway through there. Uh, which we can go to, because now we are, in fact, in the blue room. Yeah, this game does that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just seriously, it's just so much stuff like that. It's just things only exist when you sort of want them to not and... Ooh, good evening. Good evening. This is the black blob thing that you see around the place. Black blob. And there is the first gun. The guns help you move the blocks that you may see. There's a little blue one there. You can sort of move these matter blocks around and do weird things with it. Um, but that's the first, that's the first version of the gun. There are four guns in the game that you will be going through. Uh, a window of opportunity can lead to new places if you are willing to take a closer look. So that's telling you about the thing you just came through. So you work out the puzzle and then the game goes, what you did there was actually a puzzle, not a glitch. Uh, should we go through this way? Boom, 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 boom. And this way. Oh, it's getting mysterious. I love the sound effects. The sound effects are just beautiful. Uh, okay, now we're just wobbling. You, you may have got stuck here. There's actually white circles on the walls that help you track where you're supposed to be going. This one there as well. Whoop, and we're here. Uh, look a little harder and you will find a way forward. Yes. Uh, this up there is the start. That's where we started from and jumped down. So, yeah. Lots, lots of things to do. Also, um, 
Uh, oh, an arrow. What's this? A secret way that we didn't see before. Well, I did see before because I've done this so many times. I've played this game so many times. It's ridiculous. Uh, now we are here. Where is here? Venturing in the unknown could lead to great rewards. We are here. Remember this bit? Where there was the thing? Uh, and over here. Uh, okay, so there's the gun. But there's a weird thing through it. That's orange and yellowy red, which we recognize from over there. So if we go this way, ah, we can see a weird structure thing here. So now we can see in here through the gun. Which is where we now are. And now we have the gun. <laughs> oh man, this game is brilliant. Uh, try hard enough and you can get to where you want to be. So with the guns, see that opens up there. If you right click, you can grab these blocks. Left click to put them down. If you put it up there, you can wedge the doors open. Then grab the blue blocky and make your way through. Uh, the game doesn't really feature like really set paths. Arr, how do we get through this one? We plant one down there. Whoops. Yeah, open up for us. Uh, if you push escape at any time, you can go back to this map and then drop in absolutely anywhere and see if your gun does something new in the new places. So you're constantly exploring, constantly learning, constantly changing everything. <sighs> it's rather fun. Anyway, yeah, I've done 12 minutes. I really, I just don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil any of this game. You just now, you should have an idea that this game is an insane but beautiful puzzle game utterly worth playing it it can be completed in like five minutes it can be completed in 14 hours you get out of it what you want it's so worth the money go and play it i'm not going to spoil any more that i have kind of spoiled how to get the first gun a little but go go play that's anti-chamber it's ridiculously good thanks for watching and ta <laughs>